Hello, everyone. Uh, I've seen a question appear on occasion for the last three months. And that question is, as a Zen teacher, what is your daily routine? So I think that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why that's being asked. Uh, maybe, you know, in my previous life, I used to be a monk and lived at the Zen centers and monasteries. But as a lay person, what is it that I do day to day? So I'm going to take you on a average daily routine and share that with you. Uh, just one word of caution. It may be ordinary and boring. So let's go.
Vicky. Hey, Gary. That was a surprise. <laughs> Good? Hey, tick, tick. Okay, you win. Hey everyone, it's me again, Jason. Um, just picked up my daughter. She's at the park, just right there, playing with her friends. And uh, we're waiting for my son who comes in about 20 minutes, he gets out. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen after that. Usually we go back home, but I heard there's some some kind of play date at the playground. So, <laughs> so what do you think about this, huh? This Zen life. Zen master Lin Chi said something interesting. He said, when you're hungry, eat your rice. And when you're tired, go to sleep. Fools may laugh at me, but wise people know what I mean. Suzuki Roshi, who we t talked about last week, also had a kind of similar teaching, saying you know, we shouldn't have a deep feeling about Buddhism. Uh, eating supper and going to bed, that's Buddhism. <laughs> so like trying to grasp after something or want something special, right, then we become dissatisfied. We become, actually, we go farther away from what Buddhism is. So this teaching points to that everyday mind is Zen, right? Zen and our everyday life is not separate. All right, got a little company over there. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Better walk over this way. I remember actually kind of wanting something special in Zen practice. When I first moved to the Providence Zen Center, I was what was called a hangja, so I was kind of training to be a monk. I wasn't a monk yet. And I thought, wow, this is going to be amazing. I'm going to sit all of these long three-month retreats and really get down to the core of Zen practice. So my first year there, the winter came, so the retreat is January, February, March. I was house master at the Zen Center, so kind of taking care of the house. And my teacher told me, oh, by the way, you're not going to sit the three-month retreat. You're going to stay down at the Zen Center and help the Zen Center during the retreat. And I was so disappointed. I was like, oh. And then all the work that I had to do, I did all of the shopping, not only for the Zen Center, but for also for the retreat. I was picking up people at the airport and bus stations to go to the retreat. When people were finishing their week of the retreat, I would drive them back to their destination. 
So there was a lot of work, very long hours. Plus, I also had to be at practice at 5 a.m. in the morning and evening practice if I wasn't working. So I was thinking to myself, really, is this what it's about? What's the difference between being a layperson, you know, this monk life? Isn't monk life supposed to be sitting in the monasteries or on top of the mountain? So anyways, I got through the three months um, and then the next year came and then this time I was, oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to sit this three month retreat. And then December rolls around and my teacher said again, oh, by the way, you're not sitting at the retreat. You're going to be working down at the Zen center. <laughs> so it was exactly the same. A lot of work, very long days. And I was thinking to myself, really, what is this all about? And something about asking these questions like, why am I doing this training? Is this what Zen is supposed to be? But I wasn't trying to answer these questions. I was using the questions very sincerely and uh, with a very open and curious mind. Like, what is that? And what is this thing that wants this Zen experience or this special experience? And then I started to notice that when I drove people back to the bus station or the airport, they were so grateful and just grateful for what I was doing at the Zen Center and buying all of the food. And I got to see that, ah, you know, I, my, all, everything I was doing at the Zen Center was supporting the retreat, which means it was supporting people's practice. Then I was like, ah, this is really the true meaning of Buddhism, the true meaning of Zen. Meaning, whatever situation we are in, what are we doing? What's happening in that situation? And how can we help? And that's the same if you're even on a three-month retreat. It's the same thing. What's the situation? What's really happening? And how can I help? So, yeah, I learned a lot from that retreat experience or that non-retreat experience. And later I got to set some long three-month retreats. But really I saw that the retreat life and everyday life wasn't separate. So that means that everything we do is Zen practice. I remember in the interview room, my teacher would ask me, well, what isn't Zen, right? Because if we have some idea of it, then we're far away from it. But if we just let go of our idea, our idea respond to what's happening, then the true meaning of Zen appears. So those are my thoughts for the day I got to go uh, check on my son, see if he's here yet. So I will see you soon. What do you got there, Ella? My control. Yeah, but what's on the plate? Pumpkin pie. Uh huh. <laughs>
Oh, doggy, doggy. Oh, little cute doggy. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this picture. Ah, yeah. Crazy dog. Ah, what kind of dog are you? Oh, my oh, oh. So what's the scene here, Miles? Uh, karate. Okay, can you show me? Demonstrate? Yeah. Karate? Mm-hmm. Okay. So who's the master? Or who's fighting? So there's four dojos. Mm -hmm. These two have both been older students have lost. Oh, wow. And these are the only dojos standing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. That's really cool. So this is the last round. Um, it's 2-0. Okay. Wow, some moves. Mm -hmm. It's not fair, the other guy has a helmet now. It's like a front <laughs> flip. It's like a front flip, yep. kick to the face, turn around, punch, punch. Oh, awesome. And that's how he won. Well, okay, that was quite a day. <laughs> uh, the kids are in bed. I'm going to check in with my wife and see how she's doing. Maybe hang out with her. Uh, but usually I go to bed early on weeknights. Because I practice very early in the morning. So I'm sure that the fools are laughing, but the wise people are smiling. Take care, everyone.